this is my 1907 Singer drawing room cabinet. This is the Mission style, very simple, plain style, and this is in a walnut veneer. And I have another one of these in an oak veneer. You can see the oak grain on it. And there's some real differences between these two cabinets that I thought would be fun to share and show you. First off, in this oak veneer one, this is kind of a standard, the more commonly found drawing room cabinet with a full size head in it. And you open it, you can see there's a full size 66, model 66 in here. And for opening these, some of these, most of them, there is this little button right here that allows you to release the machine and there's a big heavy spring down in this black tube that will help raise the machine up since they're heavy. You have to be careful with these because some of them will raise up extremely quickly and it's a lot of power, a lot of force and people have gotten pinched and they call it an arm breaker because it, it is kind of dangerous. You gotta be real I'm going to bring this full-size Finger 66 up out of the cabinet. In order to do that, I'm going to have to set my camera down. And what you do, you push in the button, I push down on the machine, and I hold it as it rises because otherwise it might come flying up too fast. There it is. Now it's up. And that's what it looks like. Now this other machine, the walnut cabinet, until you open it up, you would think it's basically the same inside, as it turns out. Down in here is a three-quarter size. This is a Singer 28K, and it came with a hand crank, which I currently have off of it, but it was originally a hand crank. It's a three-quarter size and it's down in a little portable wooden base that can be taken out of this parlor cabinet. So this machine can either be treadled or it can be taken out and hand cranked away from the treadle base. This is one of the things that makes this cabinet on the rare side and really pretty neat and unusual. And on this cabinet the same as the other cabinet, there is this little button that helps you to raise the machine. And again, it's on a large, heavy, spring-loaded system that helps you raise the machine up as you, after you push that button. And I'll bring it out here. So to bring this one out, you reach in and hold the machine so it doesn't come flying up. Push down a little bit, push in the button in the front, and just sort of guide it up as it comes up. And it's up. Now, here you have a three-quarter in a portable cabinet in a portable base. Uh, this is 28K. And right next to it, it's full size. And one of the things I noticed right off was the full size when you treadle on it is not centered in the in the cabinet when you're treadling. Your work is off to the left quite a bit. And sometimes I find myself leaning to the left for messing with my work as I sew. Where with this one, because it is a three-quarter size, it's more centered. Almost to the center of the cabinet and working on it makes it a lot nicer because it's smaller. You don't have the open heart area as much, but usually you don't need that and uh, it just makes it so much nicer to have it more centered in your treadle cap. And everything else on this is pretty pretty much the same. You've got this door that opens with all the drawers. Same with this one, door that opens with all the drawers. 
And as you open up the centers in this one, you'll start seeing some differences. First you got to open up that, and that's the same. And when I open up the base here, hmm, that doesn't look like the typical treadle pedal that you see in these machines, as you see in this one, which is typically a open ironwork type treadle pedal. That's what I have in all my other drawing room cabinets, is the open iron. But this one has this rug covered pedal. Now, as it turns out, these are pretty rare. Um, and the carpeting, the little piece of rug on this, is tightly wrapped around a fairly heavy piece of rectangular shaped wood. And the underside of this pedal is specially designed to hold that wood and this little rug piece. Not only that, but this rug piece here is original to this cabinet. I have a picture of it in the manual that came with this machine, and it's the exact same pattern. And the other neat thing about it is it's black and gold colors go really, really well with the black and gold decal machine head. I think that was probably done on purpose. These treadles are, the pedal like this is really nice to treadle with, especially in bare feet or socks. Unfortunately, this little piece of wool carpet was badly moth-eaten. I found a lot of empty moth cases, cocoon cases, under the pedal and around through the machine as I was cleaning it. So it had been attacked by moths. I think that shows that it's probably made of wool. I don't think it's silk, but it's probably wool. Uh, but for being oh, about 105 years old, it's in actually fairly good shape. It's lost quite a bit of its nap, but um, I'm certainly leaving it as it is. Uh, and it was fun to find the exact same pattern in the rug in the picture that came with in the manual with this machine. So this is original Singer, uh, an original carpet on this pedal. <laughs>